Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo. But you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. It. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full-service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2003 Born Free 24RB with 56,135 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2003 Born Free 24RB. The 24 stands for 24 foot and the RB stands for rear bathroom. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection and refurbishment process. We will go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. Got about 76 inches of headroom in the rear part of the coach. About 72 inches here at the roll bar casement that tapers up to 83 inches in the front. We've got roll bar construction in the Born Free. So these casements here, one in the mid coach, one in the rear, and up front as well, hide the roll bars. We've got molded fiberglass construction on the exterior, solid wood cabinetry throughout. Got our fantastic fan here. This runs on DC power, so our coach battery. You can use that like your exhaust fan or your attic fan at night, help keep you cool in here. Got our air conditioner. This runs on AC power, so our shore power plug-in or our generator. You're gonna control that through the thermostat here that also controls the propane furnace. Got a TV antenna here. Got a smoke alarm there. Got nice leather on the sofa here. Got this little thing in the center here you can move if you'd like. So that is just sitting there. It's not fastened down at all. It's gonna make one of your beds here. It's a jackknife, so you're gonna pick it up on the front and pull it out. I'll show you that here in just a little bit so you can see what that looks like and get some measurements. Got these blinds you pull down for privacy. Got a screen portion on the right. These are not chin-up bars. These are to hook the bunk ladder to. So you got a bunk up top. You can flip that over there to access the cab better. We'll show you what that looks like and get you some measurements here in a little while. Got a screen portion on the left-hand side here. Got that same pull-down blind. These seats both swivel. Got belts. So two belts here, two up front. Total of four belts on this unit. I'm gonna pull this out like this. You can swivel those chairs to be able to eat meals. A little storage down below. Flip you around now. Got storage beneath the jackknife sofa. You can access this from here inside or through the outside door. But you can see that white door on the back wall. Got AC plug and our TV coax coming in there. This is a built-in DVD player. You're going to be able to move this around a little bit to face how you'd like. Got a light switch here. All these gold lights flip on and off on the lights themselves. Got little toggle switches. Before we get going any further, I'm going to go ahead and drop some pictures of the jackknife sofa bed made up so you can get some measurements and see what that looks like and also our cab over bunk. The jackknife sofa bed measures approximately 75 inches north, south, or front to back and 46 and a half inches east, west, or side to side. The cab over bunk measures approximately 73 inches north, south, or front to back and 82 inches east, west, or side to side. The bunk ladder can be hung on either side. Moving now towards the kitchen area in the center of the coach. Got a two-way Norcold fridge freezer. It's got our freezer up top. Refrigerator down here. This is a two-way, meaning it runs on AC power, so our shore power plug-in or our generator or propane gas. Going to control that via the buttons right on the front of the unit. Leave that in auto. It'll do what it needs to do to stay cool as long as you have the appropriate fuel. Got this nice slide-out pantry here. Very popular with the ladies. Put all your canned goods, ramen noodles, things like that. 
got our furnace return below and then the furnace ducts right here. So that's where the furnace air is going to blow out. That's a propane furnace. Uses the coach battery to run the fan and blow the warm air out, out at you. Got AC power on the wall. So it's your coffee pot here, whatever you like for your cooking. We've got a screen portion here on the left-hand side. Got a dual basin sink. Nice big basin on the left-hand side. Got lots of counter space. Two burner propane cooktop. Got our hood light and fan. This is for the tank levels, the holding, which is the black, the gray, and the fresh water. Also got our propane gas. These are notoriously finicky, so don't always trust these. Got coach battery as well. Push and hold this here to be able to tell those. Got our water pump on off. This pumps the water out of the onboard fresh water tank, hood light and fan. Got AC power here on the front of the kitchen cabinets. All the plugs like that are going to be shore power plug-in or generator. Got some marks there on the bottom of the cabinet. Got our fuse panel. This has our AC breakers and our DC fuses. Got two nice drawers here. Organize your silverware there. It's our fresh water tank. our water pump there. That clear hose is a winterization kit. Got a Samsung Dimension for the Genius. This is a convection microwave. Runs on AC power, so your shore power plug-in or your generator. Got this door here you can use to close off the bathroom area if you'd like. Got some storage coming into the coach. Got our battery disconnect here that disconnects the coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw. We'll also disconnect the charging systems, which are your shore power plug-in, your alternator while you drive, or your generator. Got a fire extinguisher. Some are light switches here. Got a screen door. You can button a cover here to hang down and cover up the door for privacy. Got a big closet here. So lots of room to hang your jackets. Get down to this cabinet here below. You can also access this from the outside of the coach over here. Nice hard surface flooring throughout, makes it easier to keep this coach clean. A nice big bathroom. Need to get up and into the shower, not much of a step up and in. Got an exhaust fan overhead. Nice big window, can lower the blind there for privacy. Got pretty good counter space here. This light switch here for the lights in the shower. So you got a little mark there on the, the wall. You got AC power, water heater on off. Another light switch right here for in the bathroom area. Got an actual porcelain stool. Got the little foot lever there. Easy to access that. You can access this big closet from in the bathroom as well. We also got this other spot up top that you can only access from in the bathroom. Here we are standing in the rear of the Born Free. Why are Saturday and Sunday so strong? Because the rest of the days are weekdays. So I think I said that we had hard surface flooring throughout. We've actually got a mixture. Carpet up front, hard surface in the rear. Little discoloration on the carpet right there. Got this curtain you can pull all the way around for privacy up front. Got the start stop switch for the Onan 4K generator. Has a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan Tech. That's 530 hours. That runs on the fuel tank. Got windows in the bunk, screens on the left hand side. Can help you get airflow up top. Screen on the right hand side on this one. Got an AC plug-in up here, so you can have the people sleeping in the bunk plug their phones in. Got another little stash spot over here. 
Got a curtain you can pull across the bunk for privacy as well. So whoever's up top can be able to sleep in peace. So we got a really nice born free here. Your usual born free quality that everyone knows and loves. Molded fiberglass exterior, solid wood cabinetry inside. Very nice materials throughout. This is a really nice specimen for a 2003. A couple small blemishes here and there as you'd expect. But really nice, gone through our full inspection and refurbishment process. I'm gonna call this one a nine out of 10. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. In the cabin here, we got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, power driver's seat. Got USB and auxiliary in and CD player on the dash. Got nice clean upholstery here on the flex steel seats. These are high quality. Got a little glove box in the center there. Not seeing any signs of smoking in the form of burns, stains, no tears, no weird smells. The cigarette lighter is unused. So while it's tough to say for certain, I'm gonna call this a non-smoker. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2003 Born Free 24RB. This RV measures 25 feet bumper to bumper with a 13 foot manual awning. The tires have 2720 date codes. This Born Free is built on a Ford E450 chassis with a 6.8 liter V10 engine with 56,135 miles. Pretty nice looking exterior on this 2003. Stripes are in nice condition. Got a few little blemishes here and there as you'd expect on a 2003, but overall very nice. We've got the renowned molded fiberglass construction on the Born Free here. Storage beneath the sofa inside. You can access that from the inside through those doors. Got our propane tank. This is mounted to the unit. We got a gauge on that on off valve. Got our furnace exhaust. Got dual tires here on the rear. These tires look really nice. So, like new, I would say. In the back of our refrigerator. Porch light, handle to help you get up and in. Got two AC plug-ins, so you can plug things in beneath the awning. Got some storage back here. This is our water heater over on the left. That's RV winterization fluid in there. Got a little more room in there. Going around to the back, got a ladder for rooftop access. At the back of our water heater that runs on propane. Got a little storage spot here. Storage there, so our shore power cord. This is access to the hitch. So we got a tow package on this. This is access behind the shower. More storage there in the bumper. You can put your sewer hose right here in this little tube here. Got our sewer dump. Black is on the left, gray is on the, light, on the right. Do the black first, then the gray. It's gonna flush everything clean for you. So again, got the molded fiberglass exterior. That's what Born Free is so well known for. Got a little more age on the driver's side on the stripes. Nothing you notice when this unit's driving by. Still very good looking. Got our shore power plug in here. Got our fuel tank fill. This runs the engine and the generator. Fill for the onboard fresh water tank. Got an outside shower here. It's nice for kids, pets, going to the beach, keep your messes outside of the RV. Got our city water in. Got telephone and TV coax. Got a little light here as well. Got airbag suspension on the rear. You're gonna inflate, deflate, or check the pressure right here. Those are just like your regular tire fills. Got two coach batteries, you can slide those out on the drawer. Got our Onan generator, that's a 4K. Has a fresh service, fresh oil changed by our certified Onan technicians. A closer look at the stripes here on the driver's side. Really nice born free here. It's gone through our full inspection and refurbishment process. Check this one out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Mm -hmm.